seen anything like it. He sure is long. Oh, I am sure is thin. Why? What do you think of the inside of him? Pencils. That's a lovely script from you, Katrina. Oh, do, do, do tighten the grip of yours, honestly. Let me have a look at your handwriting. Oh, that's awful. Awful. Nah, too long. A pair of trousers for one of the teachers. He's probably studying reptiles or something. Now, children, yesterday we were looking at poisonous snakes. And I've got here a very special snake. This has come all the way from Chetty. This is the Chetty Puff Adder. And it's quite venomous. And we're going to do a very interesting experiment and see how venomous, just how poisonous, is the Chetty Puff Adder. Are you ready, Lucy? We're going to read your arm in a moment. Are you ready, Chad, with the stuff? We're going to see how long it takes. Ready? Hello, 
health and safety? Yes, Mom. A giant snake? Are you positive? No, I'm not sure what the regulations are about that. Yes, yes. We'll go check it out. <coughs> what was that? Some lady says there's a giant snake on the loose at Cathedral Junior School in Castle Street. A snake? Do you think it's true? Who knows, but we'll go check it out. We can stop for some pizza and book some overtime. Sweet. Here we are, the Junior School. Let's go in through this door. Hey, how do you know the combination? Everyone knows the combination to this door. Give us your lunch money, no chance. School. And since then have been reports in Tapsley, Homer and the White Cross areas of the city. George, have any witnesses spotted this enormous anaconda? We have yet to find any eyewitnesses, so I'll ask this man over here what he has heard. Excuse me, sir. What do you know about the giant snake on the loose in this area? Snake? What snake? I'm on my way to the library. Hey, am I on TV? <laughs> Haven't you been notified by the authorities? Yes, they told me the books were overdue. Hey, is this going to be on telly? Hello, Mark! Don't you know about the emergency? Emergency? There are only three days past the return date. Aren't you afraid of getting hurt? I thought they only gave you a small fine. Is this live? Don't you know anything about any snakes at all? Certainly not. These books are about flower arranging. Can I say hi to all the folks at the Horticultural Society? I'll go away. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> that was George Cook on the streets of Hereford, where the sense of danger is nearly palpable. In charge of the military operation is, David, is General David Blood and Guts Grace of the Special Air Service. He's with our reporter Megan Fitt. Thank you, Alice. Tell it, General Grace. General Grace. Yes, Miss Jones. Keep the balaclava on for later. <gasps> Tell us, General Grace, how is the army dealing with this reptilian crisis? Well, Gillian, we've got tanks on the banks of the River Wye to keep the serpent out of the southern part of the city. We've got two battalions of attack helicopters circling over Aylson Hill. And we've got lots of men, in fact we've got eight there and one there, keeping everybody in a seclusion zone. And have there been any sightings of this deadly beast? 
No sightings have been made as yet. But when this killer cobra comes into view, we will be able to meet it with all the firepower in our arsenal. That mind you in peace at the Castle Green, sir. Well done, soldier. Would you like a sweetie? Yes, sir. Not the red one. Not the yellow one. We're off to the Castle Green to go and play. Yeah! Have there been any positive confirmation that the snake is still in the area? Well, we have no exact location, but a perimeter has been established. Anything that crawls on its belly in this town is dead meat. General, do you have any proof that there is an enormous deadly snake in the city? Well... Let's face it, General. No one has seen this snake at all. No. So, who told you that Hereford was being overrun by a massive snake? I was told by the police. <laughs> now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and debrief my secretary. Okay, Miss Jones? I was told by my superior officer, sir. I was told by my producer. I heard it from a mother at school. Well, I heard it from my friend Sue. Mommy, can we see the snake now? I told you, you don't like snakes! We heard it in the girls' playroom! <laughs> I heard it from the workmen at school. There are this big, long, I or empty. There is a moral to this story. Don't believe everything that children say. Good luck, 6G, for the future. <laughs>